What's up, YouTube? Erot212 here with another video for you. So, this literally just came in. We've got another CGC unboxing for you guys today. All right, so like I said, uh, another CGC unboxing. This is a box of modern keys. Uh, some one, I, one's a super hard to find variant. Um, for the most part, I'm really, really happy with these grades. Uh, all transparency, I always look at the grades previous to. I just can't help myself. I've talked to everybody else about it. They do it differently, but I just can't. But let me show you what we found, all right? Share these with you guys, and uh, this should be fun. All right. Uh, okay. Let's start with this one here. So, uh, something is killing the children. Number one. This is the J. Lee variant. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Perfect for a remark. Thought this was a 9.8 candidate. And uh, it came back a 9.6. So, uh, it, you know, am I disappointed? Yeah, but not really that much. Um, if you look. And it looks like that wasn't me up there. That top corner was not like that. It's a little frayed up there. I don't know if that's when they packed it. But I would never have sent something in with that corner there like that. So. Win some, you lose some. Uh, next book up. Book I've had for a while. Um, Uncanny X-Men number 266. Now if you see... Uh, it, it says name written on page one in pen and that was this book was signed by Chris Claremont but I didn't think it merited going to uh, CBCS for a signature verification I'd rather sell it like this raw because this is a really nice high grade book uh, it actually came back higher than I thought it would and this one came back at 9.6 so I'm real happy with this really really happy with that 9.6 first gambit with books, you know, coming back to the normal levels now, uh, everybody's screaming about the market decline. The market's not declined. The mar market has corrected itself to the point where it's back to what it used to be. Still above the pre-2001 levels, but not that exorbitant price range that we were seeing before. You know, all the non-comic book guys that jumped in during COVID are now gone. And this is what happens. Um, all right, so let's talk about this book. Yeah. That book right there, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Um, this is the Hustle edition. Uh, you can only get these online. Systems were crashing when this book came out and I was unable to pick this up. But this is what happens when, you know, with the community that we have and just a great amount of people. My man, and big shout out to the butcher from the Pressable Defects. He came across these and he was able to get a couple of copies. So I was willing to buy it off of him, but being the guy that he is, he didn't charge me a nickel for this book. He just gifted it to me. He's like, not taking your money. And I was really appreciative. And, and he did preface it to me. He goes, it's not a 9.8, but I didn't want a 9.8. I, I just wanted this book. Uh, I love that whole, you know, eight mile homage type of thing right there. So I was hoping for a 9.6 on this book. Um... But if you've noticed and you've been watching the trend with CGC, people are saying they're grading leniently. I don't feel they're grading leniently. What I think is they've gone back to the old standards. The old standards were you were allowed one defect on a 9.8 if it was a small enough tick or a small enough piece of a color up. You were allowed that on a 9.8. Um, and then that went, they went away with that, basically making 9.8s obsolete and, you know, almost like if they were 9.9s. But this book came back and uh, I hit up the butcher as soon as I got it. He was like, bro, congratulations. Again, big shout out, Pressable Defects and my man, Jay the Butcher. And yeah, that came back in 9.8. I kind of figured you guys would know by what I was doing there. But look at this thing. Man, oh man. Uh, I'm super happy. Um, this is just a gorgeous book. Great book to add the PC. Book has dropped. Um, nowhere near, I think it was like an $800 book right now. Um, it's no longer that expensive, but it is a nice, nice book. 
uh, we're gonna go here. Uh, I picked this up from man, uh, Darth Richards. We did a trade <coughs> at King Kong for this book. He got a Luke Cage number one, and I got some cash back for this. Uh, this is Edge of Spider Verse number two. This is the second print. This is the comic bug uh, variant, tough variant to find, and uh, tough variant to get in in the nine point eight. It is nice, really, really nice. Uh, again, book has dropped, but it is still a nice book to own. And uh, 9.8. I'll take that. Take that all day long. Um, this is my disappointment book. And by disappointment, I thought it, it had a shot. But looking at it now, um, and I'll grade this book every time. It might be along that range. It, yeah, it probably is. Uh, and, and I was underestimating it. Um, or overestimating it. But this is Batman Beyond. First appearance of Terry McGinnis. This is a Batman key that everybody should have in their collection. Um, Terry McGinnis is just bad. The cartoons were great. Bring this to live action. It's, it's a wrap. If done properly. Kind of doing that kind of theme right now. But... Let's see. And this one came back at nine. Oh, see, I was I was hoping for a nine two, praying for a nine four. So to get a nine oh, eh, you know. But so be it. It it, it is what it is. I mean, you saw the, the bangers I had there, right? And l let's continue here. Uh, I got this recently, and this is a uh, Deadpool's Deadpool's what is it? Uh, Deadpool Secret Secret Wars number two. And this is the, uh, I believe Simon Bianchi, right? Yeah. The Chris Pacello. It's the Chris Pacello, uh, Gwenpool variant. Tough book. Hot, hot, astronomically hot. Came down to earth, but this was an astronomically hot variant for a long time. But uh, for the price I got it, it was well worth getting it graded uh, because it's a contender and it came back at 9.8. So, boom. Characters like this, though, now that they've dipped, this, Squirrel Girl, uh, Amadeus Cho, those are the characters right now you should be buying on the low on the Marvel end. You see, if you watch, the Kamala Khan book has started to spike up again. Uh, even the Miss Marvel number one has started to pick up some steam. So look for these books now. You never know. Um, I mean, comic spec is not the same as it was. It actually went back to what it used to be. Keys are keys. First appearances, things like that of importance. Those minor little things carry a smaller premium, but not astronomical like they were at one point. Um, and then this one here, big shout out to my man, Streetside Anthony. Uh, this is All-Star Comics number one. Um, the uh, retailer uh, incentive. It's a too, super tough book to find. So I believe the story with this book is that the uh this was supposed to be given out and what's it comes out in uh 99 and for some reason uh the book was never released at that con but uh some of these did escape and they're in the census now um not easy book to find really really tough and uh, just finding comps for it are really hard 9.8 on this book i think it was a couple grand and this bad boy here came back at 9.6 so yeah you know what? Two great guys from the community picked up books from them. Got this from a man street side. The butcher gave me the other one. That, that's just the way this community is. That's the way it rolls. I was on the New York Warriors auction the other day, and uh, there were some great sales on there. So don't miss their auctions because Biggie's and those guys always do a good time. But, you know, it's just a good, good auction. But uh, yeah, that, that's about it. I appreciate you guys coming out. Make sure Tuesday nights you're checking me out on whatnot. Uh, followed by Very Gary and Impressible Defects and David Schreider. Thursdays I go on at 8 o'clock. And like I said in my last video, my man Lone Wolf is going to be throwing his anime con up in the Bronx. So you guys better make sure to get up there because the lineup is sick. Check out his Instagram page. You're going to be seeing a lot of great stuff about that show. Um, it, it, it looks like it's forming out to be a really, really good show. So, and I don't usually say that, but I, you know, I was a fan of those Bronx shows. And my man Lone Wolf is always a part of that. So now he did this whole anime thing. Where it's going to be comic vendors, and but a lot uh, heavy focus on anime. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good, good time. I'll be there checking it out. Hope to see you guys there. If you get there, tell Lone Wolf I sent you, all right? 
Until the next video, peace.